Hey, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to you, Akim, who go out throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in all sincerity. <coughs> Shalom to you, Akim. Uh, this is going to be a quick lesson. Um, you know, I was, uh, uh, this, this week I had some things going on and, you know, dealing with, uh, dealing with, you know, people in the world and, and things like that. And, and, you know, you gotta be circumspect around, you know, about, you know, the company you keep and, you know, even those that you work around and, you know, spend time around, go to school around, you know, those kind of things. You always want to have your, uh, you always want to be circumspect, right? And, um, a lot of these people, you know, these friendships uh, are starting to be tested. You know, it could be something as simple as a mask, right? One one part of one party, uh, in in particular, maybe wants to wear a mask, and maybe the other person doesn't. And uh, you know, maybe one person is uh, for Trump, maybe somebody's against Trump. You know, there's so many disagreements, but right now, uh, there's a lot of stances being taken. And with that being said, and those stances being taken, uh, you know, it's, uh, you're going to see a lot of divisions uh, amongst the people, right? And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started reading. So like you're running my mouth over here. This is uh, uh, Matthew 24 and 8. All these are the beginning. I, mean, I find myself in this chapter weekly, sometimes daily. Um, uh, verse 8. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and, and shall kill you. And ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Right, so we're starting to see some of that happening. Right, um, right now it's happening on a low level. All right, because it's, uh, it's not the men of the Lord that are really being persecuted. Right, because soon, you know, right now it's just uh, your average everyday Negroes, you know, getting, getting, getting messed up. But soon they're going to come after the men of the Lord because this truth hurts. And this truth is starting to spread. Um, you know, our people are starting to, you know, a lot of people are starting to realize, you know, who uh, who the Most High is and what he looks like. And, uh, you know, a lot of that white guilt and uh, and uh, uh, white anger, you know, is going to start uh, manifesting itself uh, to the demon that it is. Because Esau Edom, who is the so-called white man, Right, who was actually of uh, Esau, you know, an ancestor of Esau, um, which was a son of Isaac, you know, a brother of Jacob, and uh, he he didn't get the blessing, so he's, you know, he vowed that day to come against his brother Jacob forever, right? And he said, with the days of uh, mourning for my father are done, are done, you know, he was going to come come at us, so. Um, And these nations, man, they all hate us. It doesn't matter what nation it is. The East Indian, the uh, Chinese, Japanese, right? The East Indians are Elam, uh, Moab, Ammon, the Japanese, right? It doesn't matter what nation it is. The Arabs from Ishmael. Um, I mean, you uh, you name it. Ham, the so-called uh, so Africans who are Hamites, who are not the same tribe as uh, Judah, the, the southern kingdom. Even though they are both dark-skinned people, uh, they are totally different spiritually uh, and tribally. Um, verse 10, and then shall many be offended, right? And you're starting to see a lot of people offended in this word. You know, a lot of people are offended also by the things that are going on in this, this world. You know, righteousness offends the wicked and wicked offends the righteous. You know, wickedness offends the, the, the righteous, so... You're starting to see a lot of people be offended and they shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And that's that's coming, man. Right. Right now, you know, though hand join in hand, you know, sudden destruction, you know, cometh upon them. Right. So you see uh, you see all these things happening and you see people starting to, to, to split ways. You know, you, you somebody you were cool with for for 20 years, you know, it could be a time where you uh, where you guys separate from each other because of uh, because of the scriptures being uh, uh, fulfilled. All right. <clears throat> and many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. 
and because iniquity shall abound, right? <laughs> and, and iniquity has been abounding for a long time. But, um, you know, it's, uh, it's really starting to be uh, uh, intensified. You know, the wickedness and the, uh, the sin and the, uh, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of things going on, man. A lot of things going on in this world and it's not um you can see it man these people are a lot of these people are scared they don't know uh what to do in this situation and they uh they're looking for answers man and the answers are in this book man the scriptures without this these, these holy scriptures man i'd be lost up out here and i'm sure all the other brothers would too you know trying to discern what's going on because we're living in some heavy heavy times right now and uh, we're gonna see even more things to come. And this, uh, many, the love of many is waxing cold, man. Black Lives Matter is starting to intensify the uh, white supremacists, right? And, uh, and, 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 and vice versa. Right? Uh, uh, verse 13. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Right? Uh, verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. And that's what we're witnessing. Right? Because you have to, you know, you have to have endurance in this thing to, to make it. You know, this isn't a sprint. This is a, this is a marathon. And, you know, we're... <laughs> like you uh we're in that last leg man where you got to really kick you got to really push um you know and you got to finish and uh, that's what we've been trying to groom ourselves for and, and and continue to do so more intensified now and more than ever because you know we could feel we could feel the end coming and uh you know you can only get stronger if you're a man of the lord so so we're, we're working to get stronger to please the heavenly father and show him our uh, obedience uh, and, and you're starting to see this also the uh, the word is being preached throughout the four corners of the earth now Christians have been preaching that plantation plantation Christianity uh, for hundreds of years you know thousands of years throughout all of the land right when they went into uh, the Amazon they brought the Bible when they came to America they brought the Bible when they went to Antarctica they brought the Bible right they took the Bible everywhere but it's not their book and then they don't follow the words in that book, nor are they fit to prophesy, right? Who are who are you to, to declare my words, right? These other nations can't do this. This is only for Israel, unless he puts it on somebody to do so, like he did um, with the Moabite. Um, I can't think of his name. I don't think it's Joel. What was his name? I can't think of it. But um, this is uh, Second Ezra chapter 8. In verse 50 for many great miseries shall be done to them that in the later uh, latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride right and that's that's man that's all these nations that's even uh, the nation of Israel walked in great pride and uh, that brought that pride is gonna be brought low is how you how you how about I said they gonna do they're gonna bring all that pride up out of Esau too uh, but understand, uh, so like, man, my dang, uh, thing is broken, so I'm trying to make this work. I'm calm down, see if it'll stay. All right, my fault. All right, this is uh, verse 51. But understand, thou for thyself, and seek out the glory for such as, as be like thee. Right. For unto you is paradise opened, the tree of uh, the tree of life is planted, the time to come is is prepared, plenteous is made uh, is made ready, a city is builded and rest is allowed. Yea, perfect in goodness and wisdom. So, as all this is going on, right, the the love of many is waxing cold. Uh, friends that were were close friends are are separating right there's a separation happening and the lord is is sifting the house of israel he's finding his choice gold 
and uh, the pieces that endure unto that last, uh, you know, vial of gold before it's, you know, before it's melted down and made pure. Um, you know, you want to be one of those those choice those choice pieces, man. And you want to endure, you know, even through all of this. Like, don't sweat. Don't sweat the things going on, man. Don't sweat, you know, you getting in arguments with your family, um, people that you used to know in the world, uh, people at work, people at school. Don't, don't, don't sweat that shit, man. We got more important things to do. We got more important things to focus on, and that's being delivered and gathering the elect, you know, for the Lord, man. And uh, pleasing the Lord, you know, being obedient, following the law, statutes, and the commandments to the best of our ability, and proving to the Lord that uh, we understand and we do fear Him, and and not man and what He could do. We fear what the Most High could do, because He's the one that will send a man on us, and He can write us out of the book. Esau can only do so much. But with that, I'm gonna go ahead and say Shalom.